the beta or roots of the given equation which is x cubed minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6 equals to 0. We need to find out the equation whose roots will be alpha square plus beta square, beta square plus gamma square, gamma square plus alpha square. So what is given to us here? What can you directly say that what is given to us? Given to us are alpha, beta, gamma roots of a cubic equation. So the relationship between the roots and the equation would and the coefficients would give us that alpha plus beta plus gamma should equal to, should equal to minus of this term upon a. So this is basically 6, right? And alpha beta gamma, the product will equal to plus 6. Okay. So this is my number 1. This is my number one relation that I have. Now, let y equal to, say, alpha square, beta square plus gamma square. Beta square plus gamma square. Okay. So, this equals to what? Beta plus gamma whole square minus 2 beta gamma. So, now I can get everything in terms of alpha. That is why I took y as beta square plus gamma square. So, that I can get everything in terms of alpha. So, now beta plus gamma will equal to 6 minus alpha, right? 6 minus alpha whole square minus 2. Beta gamma will equal to 6 upon alpha. 6 upon alpha, right? So, what do I have? I have y equals to 6 minus alpha square minus 12 by alpha. Okay. This we are getting by 1. By 1. Using 1 we are getting this. Okay. Now, consider alpha y. Now, alpha y will equal to, alpha y will equal to, what am I taking? I am just taking the LCM. Okay, taking LCM. So alpha y will equal to alpha into 6 minus alpha whole square minus 12. Okay, so which implies that in terms of alpha, I get a cubic here. Alpha cube minus 12 alpha square plus 3 into uh, in fact, 36 minus y into alpha minus 12 equals to 0. So, this is another cubic that I get. This is another cubic relation that I get. So, let me just mark it as number 2. So, that we might have to use it later. Now, since I know that alpha is a root of the original equation of the original equation what do I have what do I get I can just directly put alpha in terms of alpha in, in, in the place of x right so I will get alpha cube minus 6 alpha square plus 11 alpha minus 6 equals to 0 okay now this is my number 3 let, let me mark it as number 3 now, I have one cubic here, another cubic here. Let me just subtract 2 from 3. Subtract 2 from 3. If I subtract 2 from 3, what do I get? I get 6 alpha square plus y minus 25 alpha plus 6 equals to 0. So, this is what I will get and let me mark it as number 4. Okay. See, alpha cube, alpha cube will get cancelled out. So, I have a simplified term. Now, multiply. Let me multiply. Multiply the equation 4 by alpha and 3 by 6. Okay. So if I do that, I'll have two equations looking like 6 alpha cube plus 
y minus 25 alpha squared plus 6 alpha is equal to 0. We have multiplied 4 by alpha and I have 6 alpha cube. I earlier had 6 uh, alpha cube minus 6 alpha squared plus 11 alpha minus 6 equals to 0. So multiplying by 6 will give me minus 36 alpha square plus 66 alpha minus 36 equals to 0. So I have again, now I have similar terms. So I can just subtract, subtract. We're just like, we're just solving equations in some way or the other. Okay, so 6 alpha, 6 alpha cube will get cancelled out. And what I will be left with will be y minus 25 plus 36 alpha square plus 6 minus 66 alpha plus 36 equals to 0, which will imply that I have y minus 11, sorry, y plus 11 alpha square plus, in fact, this becomes a minus because I have a minus 60 here. Alpha plus 36 equals to 0. And this becomes my number 5. This becomes my number 5. Okay. Now, look at this square equation. This is a quadratic. And earlier I had another quadratic which was number 4, right? So, solve 4 and 5. I'm using Grammar's rule to solve it. So I'll have alpha square upon 36 y minus 25 plus 360, which should equal to alpha upon 6y plus 11 minus 216, which should equal to the constant term 1 upon minus 30, 360 minus y plus 11 y into y minus 25 okay and simplifying just multiplying and subtracting stuff so simplifying will give me that this is 36 y minus 15 which equals to alpha upon 6 y minus 25 5 which equals to 1 upon minus y square plus 14y minus 85 okay you just open up terms and cancel out things so that means alpha square equals to 36 y minus 15 upon minus y square plus 14y minus 85 okay and alpha equals to 6 into y minus 25 upon minus y square plus 14y minus 85 okay now so alpha square i can just square this and equate these two so what do i get i get squaring and equating i will get I previously have 36 y minus 15 upon minus y square plus 14 y minus 85 equals to square of this. So 36 y minus 25 whole square upon the same and square minus y square plus 14 y minus 85 whole square. Okay. So, this turns into, 36, 36 gets cancelled out. This turns into that y minus 25 whole square will equal to y minus 15. Now, this gets cancelled with this. So, minus y square plus 14 y minus 85. And hence, finally, if you just... Open both the sides, you will get y square minus 50 y plus 625 equals to 
minus y cube plus 29 y square minus 295 y plus 1275. And this implies that my equation, once I just solve y cube minus 28y square plus 245x minus 650 equals to 0. And this is my final equation in terms of y.